Hello guys, welcome to science. Today we are going to do a new experiment. Balloon blow up, that's our experiment. Let me tell you the materials you are going to need for today's experiment. Baking soda, vinegar, a plastic bottle, and a balloon. So now let's see what we will have to do. Let's watch this video. So for the first step, what you're going to do is you're going to take a funnel, you're going to put it into your plastic bottle, and you're going to pour about a third a cup of vinegar into the bottom. So now that you're done with that, you're going to set, either set this funnel or side, or clean it thoroughly before you do the next step. And for step two, you're going to take your balloon and you're going to put it to the end of a funnel. And you're going to put one teaspoon of baking soda into the bottom of the balloon. And you're going to want to make sure that the baking soda travels to the bottom of that balloon. So you can kind of look in the funnel here and make sure that the baking soda has gone all the way down to the bottom of that balloon. And once it's done that, then you can remove the balloon from the funnel. And this step is pretty important. What you're gonna to wanna to do is take the balloon and carefully place it on the mouth of the bottle. Now during this step, you're gonna to want to be sure that none of the baking soda gets down to the bottom of the bottle yet. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that the balloon is secure on the mouth of that bottle. Once it is, you're gonna slowly lift the balloon pouring the baking soda into the bottom of the bottle. So now, as scientists, we have to find out what will happen. So first, we have to ask a question. And our question is, what would happen to the balloon if you mix baking soda and vinegar? Now you have to make a prediction. So, Answer the question and draw or write on this worksheet your prediction. After that, you can conduct the experiment. Have fun! While you do the experiment, you have to collect all the information and draw or write on this worksheet the results. When you're done with the experiment, you have to make your own conclusions and draw or write them in here. And don't forget, of course, to reflect on it. And let us know what you would like to do next time. But before you go, let me tell you the materials you are going to need for our next experiment. You will need three glasses, some food coloring or paint, and paper towel. So now go and have fun being a scientist. Goodbye! See you next time!